Hey Capricorns, this is LT Tarot about to do your um, January love reading. So this is going to um, be about how you feel and what's going on with the relationship and then how your partner feels. So I've already pulled out the card, so I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. But guys, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel because it does help my channel grow. So if you could do that for me, I really appreciate it. Um, but let's go ahead and jump right in. So... First thing first, this is going to be like the overall energy of the month. Move that out the way. I knew that was going to fall. Alrighty. First thing first. So, this is the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords or the Two of Winners or whatever. It represents being indecisive. You know, like having to make a decision and not being able to make a decision. So, what appears to me is that you and your partner, you guys are indecisive it's kind of like you want each other but then i think you're waiting on the other person to make a move you know i think your partner's doing the same thing now you do have the awakening card so in order for this to work i feel like you have to look outside of the box look outside of your feelings and actually decide to make a different i mean take a different approach with this relationship um it's saying that it may be a temporary standstill but it's important to be yourself but i also feel like Capricorn, if you're in a relationship and you want to be with someone or you want to start a new relationship or you want to increase this relationship, increase the feelings and go to the next level in this relationship, if you could do me this one favor, reach out to your person and have a heart to heart conversation and let them know exactly how you feel. Doing that is actually going to get the ball moving for you and your partner. So because with you guys being indecisive like this, you guys are not going to actually get anywhere with this situation. So the thing is that someone has to make this move here. So we do have the Ace of Springs here. And the two of Ten of Air. So the Ace of Springs is letting me know like... This relationship, I mean, once I feel like once you guys are one, um, one of the parties reach out to each other, hopefully it's you and Capricorn. Um, but once you guys actually start talking and expressing yourself and telling your partner how you feel, sometimes it's not hard to say, I'm sorry. It may be hard for you, but just tell your partner that you apologize and that you will try to see things the way you want to see them because it looked like, like I said, you guys are being indecisive about if you want to be in a relationship or not. But like this card here says, it is time. It's time to take action, right? Be fearless and happily pursue your most treasured dreams. Amazing career opportunities. So this right here is about it's time to take action. So in this relationship, because, you know, both parties are being indecisive, it's really important for you to take action here. So it's also saying just be fearless. Like even though your partner may come off hard, they may have a hard exterior at first, um, push through that. Because, I mean, it looks like both partners want to be with each other here. Now, once you do that, was actually, that's going to take the like, relationship into the next level. That's going to bring up some new opportunities when it comes to love in this relationship. But once you do that, it'll end the difficult situation that you guys are in, and it's, it'll be time for you guys to embrace that change. So first thing first, it's just kind of like, Take an action, and so you can end this difficult situation, so you can move on to this relationship and actually enjoy it, because I feel like there's a lot of stagnant energy surrounding this relationship. So the next card here is the star, and the page of earth. So it's telling you to kind of like look into the future uh, with hope. So it's kind of like make long-term plans. This card is all about having faith, you know, having faith that moves mountains and having happy changes in your life. Now, you know, like you guys also may have to start understanding this person or getting to know this person um, a little deeper than what you know in the past. It's kind of like a, renew, a renewal that's happening here. So it's more or less like you guys are kind of like relearning each other personality and it's very important for you Capricorn to relearn this person personality learn everything that you can learn about the situation here 
the next card here is the Ten of Summers and the Nine of Air. So, this relationship is going to be emotionally fulfilling. But was actually, I mean, it can be emotionally fulfilling. It's definitely a relationship that you can have uh, kids with this person. You can um, trust this person. But at the same time, it's like what's stopping that from happening is that you guys are expecting the worst and have a self-fulfilling pro prophecy because no one's actually making a move. It's also telling me that you guys are having sleepless night. You guys are thinking about each other at night and you can't, like, when it's time for you to sleep, you're dreaming about this person. And... You guys need to get to the point where you have the ten of summer and energy, where because I mean that's really able and uh, for I mean you were able to have this with this partner, but you do have to have uh, work on um, your you know getting over this fear and actually reaching out to this person here. The next card here is the Ace of Autumn, clarified by the Eight of Fire. So there's let me know that like there's gonna be a windfall of money coming your way. Also, it's gonna be a lot of happy changes that's coming in your life as well, which could affect the relationship. Maybe you guys was having money problems in the past and you guys felt like you couldn't get close to your partner because you was too focused on your money. But I see like that's gonna change for you guys. Like you guys won't have those issues because there's a lot of new beginnings coming this way. Also, you know, was let me know. I'm with the eight of fire here, it's letting me know like there's a lot of fast moving energy that's coming. You know, delays are actually gonna be over and many things are gonna start happening for you at once here. The next card we have here is the Queen of Screens, followed by the Renewal card. So this card is about believing in yourself, you know, like um, having the ability to maintain, you know, having the ability to um, show your partner that you're loyal, that you, yet you're friendly, that you want, you know, this relationship. And it's telling you also that with the renewal card, that it's time to review and evaluate what you want in life. You know, it's time to move in a new direction with this partner. Like, you can't stay in that stuck energy here. So let me pull a couple cards here. Um, these are going to be like the Chakra Wisdom or uh, let's see if you can see it. Ch chakra Wisdom um, Oracle cards here. I'm going to shuffle just to kind of pull what's going on here. Like how you feeling any messages that your spirit guides want to tell you. Okay, so it's telling me that you guys. Uh, being a workaholic when it comes to your money, you know, like your partner kind of sees you as being a workaholic here. I see you also isolating yourself a lot and your partner may be isolating yourself too because they've been hurt and they don't, uh, they're afraid to open up to you because they've been hurt. So that's why I feel like it's really important for Capricorn to make the move because of the fact that your partner is really hurt here. And we have the bittersweet card. Which means that every time everything kind of work out in the end, and the th it comes out to be bittersweet here. So this to kind of like recap of what we discussed here, so you'll understand is that Capricorn is time for you to t make the move in this relationship. It's time for you to um, make long term plans with your partner. Let your partner know how you feel, so you guys can move to the next level. Don't be afraid to actually discuss your feelings and tell them exactly how you feel because your partner is waiting on that. I don't see your partner making any moves because I feel like they're hurt about a lot of things. And I feel like you heard about a lot of things as well. So you guys are going to have to work that out. Now, on the other side, I will have a um, extended version of this reading. It's going to be on Gumroad. And on that uh, particular um, reading, it's going to talk about how your partner feels exactly. This reading here was talking about how you feel and how your um, and what's going on in the relationship. But on the other side, it's definitely going to break down how your partner feels and what's going on with them. So I definitely want to thank you for watching this reading. If you made it this far, give me a thumbs up so I know that you made it this far. Or just call, uh, comment, you know. Uh, Drop a heart at the bottom and let me know, you know, in the comments to let me know that you made it this far. And I definitely thank you for watching. Have a good day.